Good morning. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what I'm going to do here is construct a basic jewel thief uh, right before your eyes out of parts that I have scavenged from uh, old television sets and or a compact fluorescent light base and or one of those um, self-charging solar powered uh, yard light things. Okay. So, um, mostly it's going to be from the old television set, all right? So, what you need is the parts here. You need the transformer part, and uh, this is the easiest one that I've found to use. comes right straight out of an old television set. Uh, this is from a large television set, and uh, this one over here is from a small television set. But you can see that they're the same just different sizes. Right? These things have uh, they're, they're two coils and each coil is just divided by a little divider so that that's one coil and that's another coil. Each coil has two ends and I've taken it off the circuit board and soldered some wires onto there so that it's easy to work with. This is a good ferrite E-core, or rather um, it's a square core, C-core, D-core and uh, I don't know how many turns there are on there, but it's one-to-one -one windings, and this, this works really well for jewel, th jewel thief type circuits. At least I hope it does, the smaller one does. So you need that, and you need some wires, and you need um, an LED, of course. This LED I scavenged from the yard light, and it had really short leads, so I had to solder some wires to it. The, I don't know if you can see that or not, the anode is the positive side, and the cathode is the cup there. The anode comes up and has a little wire that dips over into there, and then the cathode is the cup. The cathode is also indicated by, the, by a flat spot on the base there. So cathode is negative, anode is positive, and that's a little white LED there. So I've put the positive purple wire on there, okay? So that's that, and uh, you, need, you need a transistor. Now I've, um, I've tried a bunch of different transistors. All of these transistors, except for this one, came out of old television sets, or, you know, CRT type television sets that people have discarded when they've upgraded to flat panel TVs. Uh, any NPN transistor just about will work. These over here and this one are uh, American style with 2N or MPS or MPA, MPSA numbers. These over here are Japanese transistors with uh, 2SC or 2SD numbers. Now on the Japanese transistors you don't they don't give you the whole number. They only give you, like this one here says uh, C2073. That's a 2SC2073 transistor. Okay. And um, they're all like that. They leave off the first 2S part of the, of the, of the number. This one is a 2SC1384. Okay. Now, the transistors have different pinouts, uh, base collector emitter, and what I've done here is I've actually sorted them into families for you. So if you're looking at the transistor face, the side with the numbers on it, then these, I hate using a tripod and this is how they go, okay? If you have any of these transistors, they go emitter, collector, base. Any of these, they go base, collector, emitter. And any of these American transistors, emitter, base, collector. Okay? Got that? And of course, you need something that all free energy devices need, and that's a battery. Uh, and uh, you need also a little bit of resistance in there. Sometimes you don't need it, sometimes you do. So this is the only part that you might need to buy. This is a 1K resistor, 
brown, black, red. Uh, or you can use one pulled from the television set. This is a 220 ohm power resistor. I picked it out because it just has the 220 text on it. Or you might even be able to use a little uh, trim pot. Uh, this says 5.3 uh, on it, which means 5K ohms. So you can adjust that to get your 1K once it's in the circuit. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use the store-bought 25 cent resistor, and that's the only part that I had to buy for this. And of course the battery. This is a rechargeable NIMH battery. All right. So let's get started. Uh, first take your coil and what you want to do is take one end from one winding and one end from the other winding and solder those together to a piece of wire. Okay. So I'm going to twist those Clip the whole thing in a clip there, and then you can use clip leads, of course, but I've found that it's just as easy to just solder stuff. All right, so two ends, one end from each coil, soldered together to a purple wire. Okay, now. Take, uh, set that aside for a moment and select the transistor you want to use. I'm going to just use one of these because it's big enough. This goes ECB, right? So to the base of this transistor, solder your resistor. Okay, ECB, so the base then is this lead over here ECB I have not rehearsed this I hope it works okay and the LED goes across the transistor from emitter to collector with the anode on the collector. So the anode then is the positive over here and the collector is the center lead of this transistor. Also to the collector, we solder one of the free ends of the coil of one of the co of one of the coils. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Let me do that in a moment. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so at the other end of the transistor gets the, or rather the, the uh, emitter of the transistor gets the negative lead of the LED, the cathode. So, let's put that in our little magic fingers. And that also gets from the emitter, the negative, the cathode of the LED, that also gets a wire that goes to the negative side of the battery. So let's get another little wire here. And let's just add that to that same connection we're about to make right there. side of that we want to add one of our
coil leads. All right. One of the free ends, remember we soldered two of these together, so since these are one to one, it doesn't matter which one you use, use one of the free ends and solder that to the collector anode junction at the transistor. There. shorts in there. Okay. And then the other end, the free end of the coil, goes to the free end of your resistor over here. to it. We got a negative and a positive wire. So let's see what happens when we hook up the wires. Okay, if nothing happens when you hook up the light, then what you need to do is reverse one of the coil windings. Just one, not both. Right? So the easiest one to get to right now is going to be the black and red one. So let's Take the black lead off and the red lead off from here. <laughs> okay, now let's put the red lead to the resistor. And then these two guys. positive wire. Now there's no way that this this LED take th uh, this battery could light this LED by itself. This is a, a white LED. It takes about two and a half volts to light, really. Okay, there you go. A jewel thief constructed out of scavenged parts, right before your eyes, in under 15 minutes. Now, of course, you're going to want to make a, a nice layout for your Jewel Thief. You're not going to put it together in dead bug style like I've done here. If I could get that battery connected there. There, there we go. All right, so there you go. I'm going to give you a look at these transistors again. There are a lot of these little ones. They're marked 603. I don't know if they're 2SC603 or not, these tiny little ones right here. There were, I don't know, there were maybe a dozen of them that I pulled off the boards. They work really well uh, and are probably pretty efficient. Now, it's up to you to change transistors and see which ones are more efficient and which ones you like better. Just remember BCE for these ones, ECB for all of these. Thank you for watching.